all right hi there welcome to chris graphics tutorials today i'm going to show you something very very important if you check observe these flyers you're going to see um this part right here all right it's what a lot of persons are using in their design we're wondering how was that created and how can or how can i do that with pixel app that's what this tutorial is going to achieve all right so we're going to go straight to the point so that we don't take much time but before we do that if you have not subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button Turn on the notification bell and share this video to others as well. If you have a question, you drop in the comment section. I'm going to drop this background that we're going to use right here. So click the plus sign, click from gallery, and uh, I'm going to go to my gallery and pick up this particular pattern that um, I have over here. All right, so um, we are going to turn it the other way around. So if you come down, we are going to see this icon. So you just rotate it and hit OK. All right, so we are going to leave it like this. I think we can use, uh, we can change the background to white background. So come to background editing tool here and um, choose color. And um, you're going to choose white. And yeah, we can leave it like this. All right, so this is what we have. So now what I'm going to do next is let's um, come to object editing tool down here, then go to mask, enable it. All right, so once that is enabled, you can play ar ar around with this all right depending on what you want to achieve you can also come down here and add another node point click to add another node point here all right so you can play around with what you have this is supposed to be um i wouldn't want the edges to be sharp so let's say i don't want the node points to be sharp all right so let's say this is what I want all right so let's say this is what i want let's hit okay let's look at it this side is really really sharp here i want it to blend um seriously i want it to blend so let's bring this down a little bit and see okay it's still gonna be sharp right all right let's leave it this way we can have it like this all right so now i want i want this side to be up so we have to rotate it okay uh, it's rotated the way I would want it so because I don't need this sharp edge so I'll have to enlarge it from here so that just if I'm going to use it for a design can just enlarge it so that I hide that parts all right you can you can do that but um, that's not the main concern now so what I'm going to do right now is the next thing to be done we are going to go to let me enlarge it a little bit to fit in I'm going to go to with this selected and my object editing selected, I'm going to go to inner shadow. All right, I'm going to go to inner shadow, enable inner shadow. Once that is enabled, you can see it's already having an effect there. Uh, for the blur, take the blur, um, take it reasonably high to a point, then offset. Let's take the offset to minus. All right, so you can see that is coming down already. All right, so um, let's increase the blur again all right so now what I need to do here is to change the colors here all right so you can see that the color is changing all right so now let's pick this blue and um, what we need is a lighter shade of blue all right okay I think that's not light enough so let's make this lighter let's make it lighter here Let's increase it again. All right, so once this is done, I'm going to duplicate this. Let's position this at the middle first, at the very center. Then I'm going to copy it. Let me see if I've done that, okay. I'm going to copy it and also position it on it. So what I'm going to do next, change the color, change the color. And then we are going to add a gradient color to this. All right, so let's choose this gradient color and see. All right, you can see what we have here. Okay, now if you want to, let me, let's do it. Click the plus sign, just so that click this end point here, or this starting point, click the, the, co the color bucket icon. Now this side is supposed to be a little bit dark. Um, let's pick a color from the main stuff we've been using. All right, so let's pick this particular one all right let's darken it a bit and then click this point click um okay click this other point click the bucket icon i mean the color um, icon 
and then let's pick the color also from here and then this one has to be dark all right so now hit okay now once this is achieved um hit okay then i'm going to come to my opacity and reduce the opacity of this other one all right so now i'll reduce the opacity All right, I think um, this is pretty fine for me. So I will merge both of them. Click both of them, click this icon to merge. So when you merge both of them, they are going to be one. And remember they are positioned in the same place. All right, so once that is done, you can pick it. You can see what you have here. Now, once that is done, if you want the, um, the down parts to be a little bit darker click a shape click shapes and like the shape this way come down to the color choose gradient click your plus sign click this first point color and we are going to set the opacity to zero hit ok then the last point click it and then we are going to make it black all right hit ok all right hit ok now you can see that it has darkened the down part all right just hit okay so the next thing maybe you can play around with the opacity to really fit into what you want all right so after that hit okay then hit this and merge both of them all right so now the last parts um, of this edit now you can see what we have here is to click it click um, color filters and then you can actually change the color to any type of color you want all right so now let's leave the color the way it is saturation you can play around now if you saturate it too much you're not going to see really what's there okay you can play around around with the brightness as well you can play around with the contrast as well so now you can see what you have here so does this not look like Photoshop <laughs> it looks like Photoshop right now this is how you can achieve this in pixel lab all right so if you like the video like the video share the video comment and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this bye for now see you in the next video